So you work for Quora, you work for Apple, then you work for Uber, also uh, great companies. And then you did not actually decide uh, in between to do a startup. I mean, were you waiting for the right opportunity? What was going on? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, I, sometimes I wonder that myself as well, uh, because I, I wonder, there's probably multiple paths to starting a company, and this is just one path, right? And, um, by the way, I think in terms of internships, so it's Apple, Quora, Two Sigma, and in terms of full-time, it was, uh, so I worked at Quora full-time for a year, um, did research residency and was a research scientist at Uber, uh, ATG. Um, so working on research for self-driving for about like two and a half years. And I spent two years at my lab company, which is robust intelligence, right? Um, so throughout this process, yeah, I've always wanted to do a startup. I mean, I think like it, it was something that just inherently excited me. Um, I think um, typically the, like the reason that excited me was I tend to not, um, I tend to have a bigger aversion to process, just pure process oriented things and more um, of a passion for being able to build stuff from scratch, right? And so I think that typically, like that, that's just something that um, I really enjoyed the whole like zero to one phase and being able to have like full ownership for that whole process. In terms of like actually doing it, I pretty, I think like I remember throughout like college and then also uh, during the early days of my career, um, I think I've always wanted to do a company. I think actually I wanted to do a company before I was interested in AI. So I really wanted to understand what's going on in the machine learning world, but the PhD world just seemed very detached from the world of like building companies and startups. And so I never actually ended up going to grad school um, to, to get a degree. But you know, if you trace through my path, I was a machine learning engineer at Quora for my first year out of school. And then I did research afterwards at, at Uber. So I definitely wanted to dabble into research. But then I was always on the fence about whether or not I wanted to pursue like a full grad degree because I was also like, you know, eventually, you know, it'd be really nice to take some of these ideas and try to start a company. And so to some extent, like out, like the fact that I started a company in the LM space was really like a nice intersection, I think. Uh, and, and I think it was nice timing because at the, like, at this point, I think I've built up a decent, I guess, uh, portfolio and background of actually understanding machine learning at a deeply technical level. So I think if I like just completely did this differently, it's possible I'd have never went into ML at all and just purely did the startup row. And I think if that, I did that, I would have started way earlier in the startup space. But I think it's because I have those two interests that it took me a little bit of time to, to like try to merge those two together.